Welcome back to Coach on the Clock. I'm your host, James McKnight. I have an exciting program lined up for you today because I'm talking about the two teams that's battling for first place in their division in the NFC South, none other than the New Orleans Saints and the Carolina Panthers. But before I do, I definitely want to invite you guys to play in our fantasy football league. Please log on to CoachFace.com. Log on to our leagues. We have free leagues there that you guys can participate in and win cash prizes. Uh, we definitely want you guys to join those leagues. Um, if you guys want to shoot us some questions, please go to our hashtag, Coach OTC, shoot us over some questions or any comments. We definitely want to hear from you. Now get into the program. We want to talk about these two teams. Uh, the New Orleans Saints coming in with a 3-4 and four record. You got the Carolina Panthers coming in with a 3-4-1 and one record. I don't know when the last time we saw in the National Football League two teams battling uh, for first place in their division with a 4-4 four and four record, but that's where we're at right now with these two particular teams. I definitely, I first want to highlight the the New Orleans Saints. Uh, Coach Sean Payton, your, your team has not won a game since week 12 of the 2013 football season. And so you guys are, are definitely not prepared to play on the road. So your offensive coordinator, you know, Pete Carmichael and, and Rob Ryan, uh, your defense is very sporadic. Um, Pete Carmichael, Drew Brees has been playing the, the Drew Brees way. You definitely been getting involved with the running game and, and incorporating Mark in Ingram. He's running very well since he's came out of the University of Alabama. So I definitely want to see how you guys um, line up against that defense in, North, in, in Carolina and how you're going to uh, get Jimmy Graham on some key matchups with the linebackers or with some safeties coming down trying to cover him. Uh, he has a huge target. Drew Brees is very comfortable throwing the ball to him and with the wide receiver Kenny Skills. So I definitely want to see how you guys going to uh, attack this and approach the game and starting fast on the road in Carolina. Carolina defensive front, their front seven is very stout, very, very, very um, key, uh, putting pressure on the quarterbacks, but their secondary has been giving up tremendous plays right now. But the, but the key to Carolina is Coach Mike Shuler and the way he got Cam Newton. He's incorporated and in making Cam Newton look like he's at the back at the University of Auburn because um, he's running that read that read run option and he's doing it very well. But I don't know if that's a recipe for success because you, you risk getting your quarterback hurt. But Cam Newton is very comfortable in the pocket right now. He's throwing the ball very well to his big rookie tight end, Kevin Benjamin out of University of Florida State. And also with Greg Olson out of University of Miami, he's he's comfortable with those big targets that you didn't think he was going to do too well when he lost Steve Smith over to the Baltimore Ravens. But there he's trying to pick up what, where he left off with those guys. And Cam Newton, you're, you're trying to turn your, your football team around. So these two teams are going to be battling for first place. I uh, definitely want to see the outcome of that game. Two defenses that are struggling. The offenses have been carrying the team special team is going to be key this this um thursday night that's the end of the show right now that's all i have for you guys this week look forward to chatting with you next week uh this is coach on the clock i'm james mcknight and we'll see you guys next time